cross your legs in your typical psychologist pose. And he said, you sit like a girl, man. This was, of course, supposed to make me burst into tears, to which yeah. I replied, well, actually, I am a girl. I just have this facial hair problem. And the man whose music has captured our hearts and minds. In the middle of your deep blue sea, anchor me, anchor you know, it had people coming up saying that, uh, you know, such and such was a good song and you're a good songwriter, and I just didn't believe it and buy it. He's a worshipper. He's, he's, the, he's the best we've ever had. He did Andy, uh, and there were a lot of people crying <laughs> in a the theatre, and I love to see that. But up next, our investigation... I'll let him learn for himself. ...songs you just can't get out of your head. Songs that catch the way we feel. They've become soundtracks to our moods. Anthems, almost. Songs like Dominion Road and There Is No Depression in New Zealand. The bands he's fronted, like Blam 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 and the Mutton Birds, are part of our pop history. But last weekend, Don McGlashan took to the stage with his first solo act. John Hudson went along to celebrate one of our finest songwriters. Don McGlashan is back. Back at the beginning of Dominion Road. Back in the St James. Packed for AKO3. Thanks for coming. It's fantastic. So many came out. I hope you all go to everything in AK03 because we so need a good festival in this town. This is Don McGlashan's idea of going solo with Sean James Donnelly on bass and laptop, Tatiana Lunchakova on piano accordion, and backing them up, the brass holes. A big fat sound for an old mutton bird song. Dominion Road. McGlashan fans aren't here just for the music. They're listening to the message. Don's words sneak into your soul and play with the switches. Jane had reached the point where she knew what he meant before it opened his mouth. He couldn't say the same, or he'd have guessed she was moving south with one of his friends. The whole thing about Don is that he's got this big picture of, of New Zealand and this microscopic, perfect view of what people like me and how we live in New Zealand. He's a worshipper. He's, he's, the, he's the best we've ever had. And, uh, you know, and, uh, but I think he also knows he knows what people are, where they come from, what they, what they like to hear, what they need to hear. There is no depression in New Zealand. We can all keep perfect. Same Don McGlashan, same theatre, different band. This is Blam Blam Blam, three months ago, a reunion 22 years after writing this. There is no depression in New Zealand. There is no depression in New Zealand, poking the borax up Muldoon's government, an art punk anthem from 81. It was a big slow moving target to chuck a rock at and you could use all the energy that punk had, you could use it and turn it around and go okay this is something that we can we can do, we'll make a song, we'll, we'll paint a picture, we'll go out and um, I would go out and make a piece of theatre. You know, you listen to a song like There's No Depression in New Zealand, I mean, that was a benchmark. I, I lauded that straight away because it was very local from, very, from here, and it's, it sort of spoke for that, for our generation. We were kind of half pop, half punk. We were just kicking against something. We can all keep perfectly calm. Not that Don was ever really a punk. He's far too nice. A North Shore boy who played in a brass band, went to church, loved sailing. Still does. There's a deep um, Presbyterian inside me that, that gets really, really worried about, about taking time off to go sailing on a, on a Monday. Just feels really dodgy. 
There was a time when Don McGlashan's future was a toss-up between his sailing and his music. At 16, he represented New Zealand sailing cherubs and played French horn in the National Youth Orchestra. By 18, the Auckland Symphonia. The various people that tried to teach me the French horn will tell you that, that uh, you know, I didn't really have the concentration span to play one thing. So, um, Curse of an instrument anyway, isn't it? The, horn's, uh, the horn is, is more of a life sentence than an instrument. Instead of a life in the orchestra pit, Don McGlashan caught the plague. Scott Cahoon, who is another guy that I was in my first band, he went, we went to school together. All of these, all of these people were Westlake boys. Yeah. There was a there was a really strong Westlake boys. Scott's the trumpet player, right? yeah, yeah. And he and I would finish a gig at the town hall, playing Marla or something, and then we'd 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 sprint down to the Windsor, and and drink as much as we could, and then stand sort of stand behind the plague, and and try and join in. So you were a classic punk sailor in those days. I guess so. Um, it was it was quite weird. Uh -huh. 